Curious about how you can edit videos in Zoner Photo Studio? Let's have a look. Howdy, it's Thomas from the Zoner Photo Studio team, and today I'd like to introduce our video editor, including all the new features from the 2019 Spring Update. We'll be working in the Create module today, and there we'll find the video option in the menu. A video preview with a timeline below it will appear now in front of the screen. Before we start working, it's a good idea to decide what format we want to create the video in. The default setting is full high definition resolution at 16 by 9 and 25 frames per second. If you don't have any special requirements for the video, then these values should be sufficient. Okay, now let's focus on the video itself. Simply drag the video clip onto the timeline itself and the video editor will load it and display it in the preview section. But I don't want to use the entire clip and I want to cut off the end early. I can do that simply by clicking on the scissors icon. I'd also like to add another video clip to the video. I'll find it between the files under the timeline. Then I can drag it onto the timeline after the first clip. And what's a video without some music, right? I already have a ready-made MP3 track that I want to hear in the background. Just drag and drop it onto the audio track. I would like to add a transition clip between the two clips so I can add a transition effect to the video from the right toolbar. I will choose the one I like and I'll place it in between the clips. I'd also like to add some text into the video. I'll call it Spring 2019. You can play the video at any time to check the result. Skip ahead or stop. Easy, right? I'd like to show you a few more tricks though. You might have noticed that when we added the second clip, it snapped to the first. This happens thanks to the snap toggle, which is turned on and off when you click on this magnet icon. If you do turn it off, the program won't automatically snap clips together and you can manually space out the clips as you wish. One of the 2019 Spring Update features is the automatic creation of new tracks. This means that you don't have to create a track every time you insert another layer of video, simply drag the object onto the timeline and a new track will be created automatically. But, if you want to do this manually, click on the plus icon and select the audio or video track. While we're discussing these tools, I want to explain what happens when we switch between insert and overwrite mode. This option affects how the newly inserted clip will behave when placed onto a space with an existing clip. If I select insert mode, when the clip is placed on the timeline, it will push away any existing clips aside. When I select overwrite mode, the clip will take place of the former clip and thus not change the overall length of the existing video. If you already have multiple clips stacked, you can zoom in or out on the timeline to view your work better. Besides using the slider, you can hold the control key over the timeline and rotate your mouse wheel instead. You can also edit the elements in your video in bulk. Select the elements of the video by pressing on the control key and selecting with your mouse. Then you can change all of the parameters at once. This only works for the same type of elements though. Another new feature is slow and fast motion adjusting. After adding a timeline clip, you can change the playback speed in the right panel. You can also change the speed by rotating the mouse wheel over the value input. A new option now featured is the ability to rotate and flip clips. If you happen to be making a video over a reflection such as a mirror, or by accident the action is slipped by your camera, don't worry, you can easily flip it around by clicking a button. And we're done. When saving, you can choose the encoding, quality, and other parameters, and if you don't understand them, feel free to leave the default values. You can also save the video and return to edit them at any time in the future. You'll find it in Saved Projects in the Create module. And that's all. Thanks again for your time, and see you in another Zoner Photo Studio video.